Hey everyone, Nintendo Prime here, and today we're going to take a look at a game that is unlike, literally unlike anything I have played before. When it comes to simulator games, well, I'm pretty unfamiliar with many of the entries outside of Microsoft's Flight Simulator. The idea of these games is to take real-life activities, jobs, experiences, and provide a virtualized version of that experience. Sometimes these simulator games are actually used for real-world training, as an example. But for the purposes of the everyday gamer, it's often just about having some fun or pure curiosity over a job you may never do yourself. Today, we are sponsored by Bus Driving Simulator 22 a game that recently released on Nintendo Switch for $27.99. I've certainly ridden my fair share of buses, whether it was going to school when I was a kid, public transportation in cities, or even renting a bus for certain party situations. One thing I have never done is driven a bus, so I do have a little bit of interest at least in seeing what the life of a bus driver is really like. One neat thing about going for drives in the real world is, well, just taking in the world around us. And Bus Simulator remembers this by offering a free roam game mode. Considering the game comes with three large areas to drive in, it's pretty nice to just free roam and take in the views. I've driven in Los Angeles myself in real life, but seeing it from the perspective of a massive bus is quite interesting. You can then do the same thing to explore Munich, Germany, and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. That last one has my favorite Vista views simply because I've actually never been there. This is probably my favorite mode in the game simply because I don't have to worry about the same ins and outs you do in the career mode. It's basically a blank canvas experience in these cities and areas, and it's nice to be free of the actual job portion of driving a bus and just enjoy randomly driving around. Of course, the brux of the experience really takes place in career mode, which has a linear progression, but one which can be pretty challenging. Yes, you are doing exactly what you think you are doing, completing a bus route, picking up passengers at various bus stops. I mean, this is a bus driving simulator game. If that's not the sort of gameplay you expected, then I don't know what to tell you. A lot of the challenge in the game comes from making sure you are driving flawlessly. You are in a huge bus, so turns are quite wide, and that means it can be a lot easier to end up in an accident, something that will subtract points from your total. You have to follow traffic laws, stoplights, signs, turn signals, hazard lights, and more. Unlike a game like Grand Theft Auto that can basically encourage you to run over pedestrians, you actually will fail the level if you happen to hit a person, which I think you can agree, that's probably a quick way to lose your bus license. You can unlock other types of buses in various customizable things, and there is an overall score that you can look at telling you how good of a bus driver you are on a per level basis, as well as overall on the home screen. I'm just gonna kinda sit back and let you enjoy some time watching raw gameplay, and if this tickles your fancy, there will be a link to the game on the North American eShop down below. Thanks again to Bus Driving Simulator 22 for supporting the channel. Flower Avenue. Next stop, Spring Street. Spring Street.
Next stop, high school. High school. Next stop, Flower Avenue. Flower Avenue. Next stop, San Pedro Street. San Pedro Street. Next stop, Avalon. Mm -hmm. 